let's get on to i think i don't know you've gone pro so i would say the final transition and and where you're going now and it's been inspiring to see like the activist side of you come out um, yeah and that's like in the last year or so or maybe it's you know i mean you've been forthright and honest for the last few years about your sexuality but also now like you know what it means to be in the spotlight and like to be yeah. seen as yeah that. yeah so your that TikTok blown. And my tiktok's blowing up <laughs> yeah follow me on tiktok <laughs> um no i think it's yeah within the past year and that that was kind of you know another that was like terrence you know another coach in my life that was like like you have to run like now that you're no longer on a team right there, it's not high school it's not college like it's just you versus the world and he's like you have to find something that like you got to run for something bigger than just yourself you know and mm. i was like yeah you know i really like bought into that and um you know was just like kind of i feel like in 2019 was really committed to the idea of like being seen and like because i i feel like my generation like growing up we we're talking about it the other night um you know with like the people that are up here at, at camp with me and we're like who is your female like sport role model like did you have one mm -hmm. and it was kind of like i guess like mia ham like <laughs> serena, serena williams like kind of yeah. but like not really and so we were just kind of talking about it and it, it's just like i feel like then it was like okay who was your lgbtq like role model and it was like no no one you know <laughs> like i didn't have that like right. and so it was kind of this idea like okay i want to be the person that i needed when i was younger like i need mm -hmm. i want to be that to someone else and um that's cool you know, things just kept happening and i kind of got on this momentum and i was like uh, i just remember being in iowa before me before race and this dad comes up to me and he's like hey like i just want you to know like my daughter just like came out of the closet and like i asked her oh like why now like why what made you like comfortable to come out now and she's like well i saw nikki hilts do it and like if she could do it i could do it and i was like wow. you know That's to hear so that funny. like to hear that right before a race you know i was like no one's beating me you know <laughs> it was just yeah. kind of like <laughs> i'm a boss ass bitch like <laughs> yeah exactly so I feel like that was just so I was like, this is so much bigger than just running or like just winning cool. races, you know, and it was like, I want to be seen. And like, how do you how do you get seen in running? Oh, you win, you know, or you like you outkick someone like you put on a show kind of. And I was like mm -hmm. kind of addicted to that. And I was like, that's that's what I want to do. And so I feel like a lot of 2019 was like being seen. And then um, I think in 2020, like this year my my goal was to just okay now that i'm like visible i have a platform now it's like let's do something with it um and so this yeah, year it's like, like impact now is the new yeah. is the new new direction yeah. right and so because uh, it, it's like an, i don't know i'm like i feel like i have this athlete mindset which just like i want to get better and keep improving and mm -hmm. um you know what's next and so this year was kind of all about okay what am i going to do with my platform like how am i going to give back or like um and so my my original goal before you know covid was in june i was going to give all my prize money to the trevor project and um which is this organization that uh i kind of first found in 2019 because adidas was doing this campaign with them and i was like oh what's this and it was like for pride month they did like it's just like this leading organization in like lgbtq mm -hmm. suicide prevention and i was like wow that's huge oh, you know because yeah. suicide just affects the lgbtq community like so yeah. much so much more and um i was just like yeah this is something i want to work with um and so then when you know the pandemic hit and all the races were getting canceled i was like well i still have this goal so i'm gonna do it somehow and um you know that's kind of when i turned to my team and and we were like well let's put on a race and let's uh you know we could be virtual and and we could have all the proceeds go there and i was like yeah let's do it um and it was just this really special journey that I kind of started, we started in March. It was kind of right when like everything hit. Um, mm -hmm. And the race was June 28th, which is the anniversary of the Stonewall, Stonewall riots. And um, yeah, it was definitely this like really cool project where I got to like, I was still running, you know, um, yeah. but it was like, I kind of could put all my energy and focus into something else other than running. Yeah. And you know, the night before we opened registration, it was like, 
I was getting nervous, you know, I was like, oh, yeah. like, I hope, <laughs> That's a great okay. day. yeah, I was like, oh, I hope people sign up. And it was exact, like the exact same nerves I had the night before race. And mm-hmm. I was like, this is so cool that, you know, this is what my life could look like after running. Cause you know, um, yeah. and that was so exciting. And then race day, you know, having, seeing all those people like from around the world, like come together and like wear my shirt and like post about like my race. It was, it was like just as fulfilling as when I, crossed the line in third and made my first U.S. team, you know, and it That's was just really like cool. really special. And I was like, okay, this is what I want to do, you know? Yep. That's really powerful. And so it was called, it was the Pride 5K, right? Or the... Uh... Yeah. Golden Coast Track Club's Pride 5K. Yeah. That's kind cool. Of How many people ran it? How many people We had, in? I think we had officially like 1,800 people sign up. That's amazing. That's a lot yeah. of people. Maybe yeah, we have like this is like my job to put on these races and we like put on one <laughs> and we got like two thousand, but like that's all we do and you like almost <laughs> got more than you did overnight and your first one. So yeah. I'm a little frustrated and uh, slightly <laughs> jealous. Uh but you also might have a job here waiting for you uh when you retire. <laughs> especially yeah. if Coach Gruper forces me to hire you. So uh, Yeah, Nikki needs a job. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, anyways, I, I think it's such a cool program. And I think on all these things we'll list uh definitely list like the Trevor Trevor project. Is it yeah, cool? yeah. Yeah, and the donation link in the show notes and the different things when we post this, we can put it out there in yeah. your social media things. But um man, congratulations on such like an early like young career from high school to college to college again to going pro and, and um <laughs> you know, finding something more, something, you know, something bigger to run for than just yourself. Yeah. That's such a great lesson uh, for all of us. Right. Uh, But I think that's a cool place to end it. And I want to thank you for sharing the story and like all these little tidbits. (laughs) No, thank you. Yeah. Yeah. I think, no, it's very, it's very cool to see what's next. And um, yeah, it's kind of cool to talk through my story and like, yeah, that was me, and then that happened, and that happened. You know, it's like right. a good reminder of like. Yeah, but leveling up like all the yeah, way through, which always. is really cool. Yeah. Yeah. That's, well, I'm gonna take a few things from it. I think you know all seven of our listeners will too. Um, <laughs> so I'm just kidding. Uh, when you put it out there, we'll actually get some some love. Um, but otherwise, yeah, using my clout. <laughs> I mean, yes, it's payback time. <laughs> oh my gosh, no! I'm so grateful for. It. For everything like you've done for me and you know the the santa cruz running community and um yeah it's just been like i couldn't have done it with all the without all the people in my life and so it is you know very very special to run local <laughs> yeah it is. it is it's a mutual admiration club and santa cruz is proud of you uh let's go for a run next time you're back at home and yeah let's do it and stuff like that uh, social oh, yeah. distance, of course all right yes. cool. enjoy park stadium <laughs> training i hope you find some competition opportunities this summer um some way somehow and uh love to have you on again when we have like another level up to talk about yes definitely (laughs) thanks jt all right thanks nikki